All right, so just joining you guys for a quick little video here uh, of a hilarious glitch I found, or I guess I didn't find, but I was notified of uh, on F123, where you can actually race with uh, uh, a livery that uh, basically is glitched, and as a result, there's no car that you're sitting in, rather just a invisible force holding your four tires together and your driver uh, with his ankles cut off as well, <laughs> driving the car around. So this is a really easy glitch to do, and it's just really fun and hilarious. I call it the weight reduction glitch, but uh, you can call it whatever you'd like, and I didn't find it or anything. But basically all you want to do is you want to do the recent Lando Norris uh, Pro Challenge at Silverstone, I believe it is. Uh, all The easiest way to do it is just to go into the main menu of the game and... Uh, I think I hit the triangle button, which prompts you like the news and the updates and stuff. Uh, there should be a notification there about the challenge itself. And once you complete the challenge, which is simply beating a time trial uh, set time around Silverstone, just one lap, uh, which is very, very easy. My first lap was eight seconds uh, clear of the time, and it wasn't even that good of a lap at all. Uh, you get the, this McLaren Chrome livery, which works in all game modes for the most part online etc it does actually exist but for whatever reason the main career mode was not uh the livery was not set up properly and as a result uh you have this glitch in front of you so we're just going to do a quick little race here i have a ball rain 50 percent set up with uh, i think 104 or 105 ai i think it is let's check it out just so we can state that 105, there you go. So I'm not the best player by any means. I have some assists on, just the racing line, namely. Uh, safety car is on, as always, and we're a midfield team as well. So we're not expecting to be too slow or too fast. We qualified P8 in Bahrain, the first race of the season. I just made this team just to make this video. Probably will not be doing this again because they will patch it soon. So if you want to do it, uh, make sure you do it soon anyway let's get into this race uh let's do a lap and a half extra fuel because i have no idea what that's going to be like actually let's do a little bit more than that let's do two laps no actually lap and a half sound good all right let's get into it medium to hard it's nothing too crazy we're just going to race the ai with this crazy glitch i'm going to treat this race as if it was like a league race something to at least learn right, from if you are looking to learn from me which is a questionable idea I do uh, I do add but if you are looking to learn from me I'll run you through some things here so on the formation lap you do want to be careful not to overwear your tires uh, you can you know heat them up and you want to be doing that but you don't want to be weighing them to the point that they start more worn than your opponent's tires are so you really just want to kind of take it easy for the first sector or so And then as you kind of get closer towards the midway, you really want to start heating the tires up. And the easiest way to do that is simply to accelerate and slightly brake at the same time, just like that. You can see my brake and throttle trace there. You can see the tires as well heating up easily. So this is very easy to do. You don't really have to weave or anything. I just do it out of habit. You can see the temperature is just climbing up now. So. We'll see if we can get done off the line here, but this is really all you want to do is get the tires up. I would say around 100 degrees Celsius. Primarily, you want the rear tires to be there. The fronts doesn't matter as much, but you want the rear tires to be ready. And there you go. They pretty much are in just a couple corners. So we're just going to take it easy, not go too crazy. Maybe do one more little uh, break and accelerate. And let's see if we can get done off the line. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, I wasn't paying attention there. I was doing something really quick and I slammed into Hamilton. Let's just not do that and forget that happened. Final one, warm up here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna check the tires right when we start and let's see how good of a job I did. 
I'm not really in a serious you know, competitive mood right now, so probably may have worn them a little bit too much, but we'll see what happens. And of course, you want to get as good a parking as you can. You can ghost right through people. Light the rears up, light the fronts up. Get close to that line. It's going to be really easy with this glitch. Look at this. Okay, that wasn't as good as I thought it could be, but anyway, it's purple. It's good enough. My teammate is right behind me as well, Jacques Villeneuve. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> he has the same car. And you can see it in the rear view there. Anyway, let's get going. Five red lights, no flashbacks. Let's just get into this race and see how far we get. Really going to go to the inside here, activate the ERS. Looks like someone got a bad start there. Red Bull break a little bit early. You don't know what the AI are going to do. A little bit of contact, little wheel. Gonna go around the outside and try and stick it to P5 here and also stick with the pack. So I'm going to use some ERS. The AI has some good straight line though. Up the inside of Perez. Softs are giving me some headaches here. But we got through. It looks like they're fighting up here. I don't really want to win this race. Maybe the AI is too weak. Because <laughs> this is a little ridiculous. I don't know how I'm getting this far up. Just hanging around the outside, around the hairpin there of Leclerc and uh, signs of Alonso. But I don't really want to fight in there. So I'm going to back up. I'm not looking to win. I just want to have a good result. So if I get overtaken, it's fine. I just want to get off to a good start, get away from some cars that I do want to fight. Oh, Alonso's not giving up, that was insane. Let's see if we can get away though, and maybe they can fight behind. <laughs> you just see the rear tires. Oscar Piastri, what? He's in P1? I don't even believe, I can't believe that. That's ridiculous. Perez and Alonso fighting. Oh no, I'm gonna get caught in it. Oh, three wide. Oh, I lost the rear. Got it back though. And I think P4 is gonna be our ceiling. Signs, Verstappen, and Piastri are way too fast. I'm just gonna hold up the pack as much as I can. And if this was a real race, I would be just taking it easy on the ERS. I did burn quite a bit there because I'm in a high up position right now, but normally when you're racing, it's uh, equal performance. And it's not quite the same dynamic. So I'm on realistic, of course, it's career mode. You have to be. And it's a midfield team as always, or as I said earlier. Oh, I lost the rear though. Oh, that was horrible. This car has a really bad rear end. I think it only has one upgrade. I think it's a minor. And it has more fronts than rear downforce as well. So it's a little bit sketchy. So I don't want to burn my ERS here. So if, if Alonso flies by and I get the ERS, I'm fine with that. Let's we'll see what he does. Yeah, this is fine. Go ahead. Get behind. Get the slipstream immediately. Don't let the AI or in reality any other racer get in front of you as well you're going to do that kind of thing. And now the DS is going to be on, so Leclerc is really fast. He's going to be faster than signs ahead, probably. And he's going to immediately make a move. There's no real sense in fighting him. But again, they're going to fight, so I'm going to be involved. Oh, a little contact. I can't really see where my car actually is, so it's a problem with this glitch. <laughs> but it is hilarious, nonetheless. Oh, oh my goodness, what was Perez doing? He just dived up the inside, tried to kill me and Leclerc, and Alonso got away on the softs. It's not good. so good around here. They just have such good straight line speed, so it really forces you to use your battery that you don't want to fall into that trap. Probably may let Leclerc go as well. Oh, 
Oh, sketchy. I totally forgot to check the tires, like I said I would. Oh well. Oh my god, this is insane. I haven't played career mode in so long. I want to try and use Perez to stay ahead of everyone else. He's probably going to get away. So fast, I really gotta sweat to stick with him. Ugh, don't wanna lock up though. battery. Damn it. It's gone now. I'm going to have a lot of trouble. Set this fastest lap as well. So it's, it's a good sign that I can stick with it because that means, you know, I'm not too far off. But, oh, I need the DRS there. This is painful because that means I'm not going to get it after this. And I used a lot of my, bat <clears throat> my battery just to have, make that happen. racing. Airpin. Want to be on the power nice and early there. Oh, not too much though. You want to be careful on the curb on the exit. And you want to cut a little bit to the inside for this really hard double left-hander. But now we are kind of a little bit more settled. I think I'm a little bit more comparable to the people on the mediums, obviously, than the people on the softs. And we'll see how long they can last as well. Those soft runners. Probably going to get overtaken here. I don't want to run my battery to zero. But we have separated from some cars behind, so that's really good. Cars are battling. Oh, that's really good for me. That almost screwed me up, though. But that relieves the pressure for this straight. I don't have to use any battery now. Actually, maybe I do. <laughs> They're really fast. Oh, no. Look at that. I'm going to get some DRS, though. Off of Norris. He flies by. His teammates uh, dropped off from Verstappen in P2, so he's going to have some base. Settle down now. It's getting overtaken a lot there, but I think I've filtered into a more comfortable position of the race where my car is supposed to kind of be. I'm way ahead of my teammate as well. Had a really good start. I don't know what happened to my teammate. Did he retire? He might have, because I think someone did and I didn't even pay attention. That sucks. Oh, I'm trying to do an update and I'm locking up, Jesus. Yeah, he retired. That sucks. The Red Bull powertrains for this team. So already on lap six. Now I'm really going to start to get some good laps together. This is kind of the 
main bulk of the race. The starting phase is over. Head down. See some battling ahead. That's awesome because they have some soft tires. So that means they're wasting time doing that. That is Alonzo and Perez still fighting up there. Claire is going to go on the inside. Oh, I locked the rear. It's always awkward when they send on the inside of turn one there. Is the player going to go for it? No. And that's making us lose time. That little exchange. Gave about half a second up to Norris. He's now gone. So points may be difficult. This is certainly not what I'm used to. But this glitch is so worth it. So we got three cars behind me, which will become 8th, 9th, and 10th. So really, I need to be here to do any of my goals, which is to get a point. So these are my effective opponents for the race. Mercedes. I think the player's going to get me soon, but... Oh, what's up, Zudi? <laughs> my friend Zudi just joined the shot for a second. That reminds me, I should probably get out of this chat so that I'm alone. There we go. Alright, back to the race. Player is flying. He's gonna get me, but I'm gonna get DRS on him. Oh my, that was so bad. I think I'm killing my rears. have the soft song, so that's encouraging, because I, I, I thought they'd be really fast. It looks like this is the fast they're going to be. Anyway, I think uh, we've done enough of this race to really enjoy it. Kind of see the glitch, so again, just make sure you do the Lionel Norris Pro Challenge. That will unlock you this amazing ability to drive this exceptional Formula One car. So you, this is like 300 years in the future, folks. I'm telling you, we're gonna be seeing stuff like this—a magnetic, you know, engine or something <laughs> holding everything together. got me there. Not much I can do. Looks like we will be sticking in P10 if we were to do the rest of the race, which honestly I'm probably not going to do at this rate. We'll do one more lap probably. This will be the last lap here. I think everyone kind of gets the point by now. This is also some questionable driving, definitely not something I've been practicing or anything like that. Just wanted to showcase the glitch. Oh, and let's change the camera look really quick. Actually, that's not that great. Uh, there. <laughs> so hard to drive in this camera, but this is amazing. Am 
Come on, stick with Russell. We're not giving up yet. Overtake. Overtake Russell into turn one to end the video. Oh, that was such a dive. We're tripping up though, it worked. Oh. <laughs> and there you go. That's the fight. That's the video. That's the moment. So, this has been your host, Greg Jennings. Looking to do more videos like this in the future, just to showcase some of the ridiculous things that Codemasters let slide on this game that they should definitely be doing a better job of handling. But let's talk about that another day, shall we?